Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Let's start from the GSE hands-on part. So like I mentioned last time, today we are going to talk, majorly talk about the hands-on application of GSEA by using the Java version and also this web server. So let's go directly. First, let's go directly to the GSEA website. So this is uh, the GSE website. So uh, it's developed by Broad Institute. So the GSE website offers multiple features. First is uh, the main page is about its updates and also the function and also citation information. And the second is about the downloading part. In the downloading part, downloads part, you can download the software in different versions, like the Mac and the Windows version, and also Java version, and uh, also Linux and R functions. So I have only used the Java version and R functions. So today we are going to talk, majorly talk about the Java version. So, and the second part is the MSIGDB, which is the molecular signature, uh, database. So in this database, they are keep updating it. Recently, just just updated the version to version seven with different types of gene size. So here, I would like to first spend several minutes to talk about the pathway resource available here. So the first is uh, the you can download them by just by different versions. Here, this option is for all the gene size, and which include by the first is a hallmarker gene size. In the hallmarker gene size, it's just a Included the like major hallmark functions, and uh, and second is the positional gene size, which is about the human. Uh, first, this data set is all about human. Positional gene size is for the is just the genes grouped by the uh, different uh, regions over through over different chromosome. And uh, then this is a the C two is the curated gene size. Curated gene size is more for the uh. <laughs> The can uh, first including the chemical and the gene perturbation gene set data set, which is derived from the the public available data. For example, if there is a data, the gene expression data of the uh, the the uh, the a certain cell line treated with hypoxia versus normoxia condition. And uh, this the, the differentially, ex differentially expressed genes derived from this data set can be used as the genes show response to hypoxia. And then and this data set they contain uh, uh, thousands of, 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 of gene set derived from such experiments from public from using the data from public domain. And then it's all canonical pathways, and including the biocarter gene size, CAG gene size, and the PID gene size. Those are and the reactome gene size. Those are different resource of pathways. And then C3 collection is about the uh, all the transcriptional regulatory target gene size, including microRNA targets and the genes from the MRDB, and also the this is some recent data sets is more about microRNA targets and also transcription factor. Targets, non transcription factor targets. And then there are computational derived gene sets, especially the some cancer gene neighborhoods that are cancer modules derived from also computational derived from independent data source. And gene ontology and oncogenetic signature. And very important is the immunosignature gene sets, which is uh, the genes that are upregulated or downregulated in certain immune cells or certain condition, immune re is re response. And right now the version is v seven. So, but they also keep the tracking information of version six and also past versions due to the certain number of uh, published results were based on the past versions and to make sure the reproducibility, they keep the old versions also available. And this is the molecular database. So you can see more of the description, more descriptions of the molecular signatures from the for, for, of each micro signature gene size from set groups from here, and also there are documentations. And today we are majorly focused on the hands-on part of application of Java version of GSEA, so which you can download and launch from here. So I already downloaded it. So once you get it downloaded, so you can have a. a Shortcut here, uh, that with click, and you can you can run the 
GSE Java version. And the first part is the data loading. So the data loading, they may require two types of, majorly require two types of data sets. The first data set is the GCT data set, which is the major, uh, which is a major data, data type used for the GS, uh, which is a core data part, data type of the data part used for as an input for GSEA. First, this data set is this data in this file is should be the type delimited, and the first the first row is just a, a descriptive row and with the pound symbol at one point two put here, this is just as the default setting. And the C and N describe two different conditions. And the second row describes the number, the first column describes the total number of genes, second column describes the total number of samples. And uh, you can have two, two columns, one, one column is the gene name or gene symbol, and the second column is description, so you can put any description, this won't affect a lot. And uh, the third, and then is followed by the data. And the data, you can give certain just arbitrary column names, and uh, then is uh, your gene expression data. And the reason, but please keep in mind, you need to put the first two rows into this format, and this is exactly equal to the number of features, this is exactly equal to the number of samples, otherwise it cannot be uploaded. And this can be opened by the Excel, but it's actually a text format, a plain text format, which are type delimited. So I open it by the, by the, by the text editor, uh, text edit file editor, you can see it looks like this. And the second file is a, a, a as a required file is is a dot cx crs file, which is a simpler than the data set data file. It's just a show just a uh, uh, characterize the sample group or the sample information of your test. So here the first one is the total number of samples, and with a with a space and uh, the number of conditions and the space and always one as a default value here. Second is just the annotation of the sample class C and N, which you, you, you used. And the, and the third one is uh, uh, the, the, is the indicator of, sample, of the samples of each class. Here we have two classes of sample, two classes of samples. And the first four are about the first class, which is uh, uh, the C, C condition, we use zero. And the second is N, which we use once. And it's also a type delimited file. So when I open it by using the uh, text editor, we can see it looks like this. <laughs> and then we can do the uh, data uploading. So we use the, the desktop and the GSE enabled files. We first upload the sample file and uh, we upload the data file. And then we can run GSEA. And uh, here we have a certain uh, options. The, the data set we use is the data example, which has, we, you can see the features here, the number of genes and number of samples. And the gene set database, which we use, we will select, you can see we select, there are multiple versions, past versions, but here we will select the C2 CAG, which is relatively small, can save our uh, running time. A number of permutation is for the permute, like I mentioned, I, I introduced last time, is for statistical assessment. And uh, here we use set of 1,000 can be used as a standard uh, permutation time for permutation number, and we use C versus N. And uh, here is uh, we just uh, no collapse. If you collapse, is we there we need cheap information. But here we already have uh, the gene symbol extracted, so we don't need collapse. And uh, permutation type we put to the phenotype. 
But if the number of sample size is too small, we can put the, we should put the gene set. So far, we have four sample four, four samples for each class, which we can we, for, for which we can use phenotype as the permutation type. And the basic fields is analysis name. You can give an arbitrary name, and the enrich, enrichment statistic we use weighted, so which is alpha equal to one. And uh, for the here, it's a, like I mentioned last time, we have used different values to show the differential in gene expression level. So here, I may use the T test should be okay. And uh, gene list sorting, no, sorting mode, we use real. So absolute will turn the negative value to the, to the positive value. And gene list ordering, that's default descending. And we may exclude the, large, the, two, the, the gene size that are too big or too small is this threshold. And then we do the, run the GSEA. So you see here GSEA is under running. So it may take a certain time due to they may require a certain permutation test. For the permutation means you may randomize the data and you may run the exact same process one, one time. So if there are 1,000 time number of permutations, that means you will need to write so, 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 so I go, the record will need to be run by 1,000 1, times for the background, background assessment and one time for the real data analysis. So it's still under running. So meanwhile, I think we can go for the, to introduce a little bit about the second database data web server is called the web-based gene set analysis tool, toolkit. So this, this web server is not established by the person who developed the GSEA, it's by another group. So but they include the gene set enrichment as well, well of the possible choice here. And uh, you can see here a very detailed description and they have a two NR paper published for the, as a, for this web server. So you can select the different, the good thing is you can select different species because the current GSEA only support human, but here you can select different species, for example, a mouse. And then you can do the, uh, as you use human, and then you do the gene set, and do the functional data sets with certain G database, but this they cannot use, they didn't include the MSI G GDB uh, pathway, but they include some others. So here they have more like Panzer pathway and the Wiki pathway. So we still use CAG. And the input data that has a still gene symbol, and you can upload gene list either by file or like me, just copy paste the certain derived correlation into here. So this is the list of the, the correlation I derived from the R, like the R code I gave last time. So we can derive this, uh, click submit, and it may take certain time to write. So let's go oh, here, the GSEA, the Java version get finished. Let's go check about the results. Here are the outputs. So we can see the enrichment in phenotype in C. We have six out of 178 gene sets are upregulated in C. And, but not, none of them are significant FFDR less than uh, point, uh, point 0.25. So we can see the snapshot. Here is the ribosome pathway. I think it's a uh, looks like upregulated, but due to the base the FDR is not so significant. So you can see FDR Q value is not so significant. And this is the uh, enrichment score, or oh, this, this is the olfactory transduction. And we see here first the down and then up, this is not significant up, definitely. And also for the rest, you can click each of one and see the genes in here and see the rank, see the running yes. That's the ES trajectory. And also we have uh, the, 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 uh, around the, or oh, a lot of pathways are enriched upregulated in phenotype N versus the uh, uh, upregulated N versus C. This means this data is relatively biased. We can say most of the gene sets tested here are upregulated in phenotype C. But this is okay because this is, uh, this data is, uh, it's with a certain metabolic perturbation, metabolism perturbation, and most of, most of the CAG pathways are metabolic pathways. So we can say most of the pathways are downregulated in, uh, uh, down regulated in C or upregulated in N. So we see the snapshot of the pathways. You see, oh, a lot, most of them are really downregulated. We see the genes are all enriched here. So, and it can give you the genes that are in the pathway that are hit 
to the bottom part or not or the, or the front part. And also give you the heat map of the GNC expression. And also this data details, gene set details, and the gene markers used for the C versus N, and some global statistics. So they say plots the uh, non significant is a significant plot. And also the global ES score. So you see most of the gene set are with the ES that are down regulated. You can see most of the pathway tests here are down regulated pathway. Okay. So this is the, how you do the analysis by using the Java version. And then we talk about the go to the web server, this web server's result. So it also takes certain time to write. And uh, due to this, this web server was not developed and supported by the group, by the developer of GSEA. So even they include the function, but their visualization should be different. But basically they're the same thing. So here they show the upregulated so among the list, they show, they show the upregulated pathway and downregulated pathway. So and with FDR, these are all significant. You can see the enrichment, the normalized enrichment score, and uh, also there with the FDR value. So you can see here, the, even they are, they are significant, they, they are listed as a downregulated pathway, but none of them are truly significant. Only the top one, this top one is very significant. So this is the pathway, the uh, Epstein bar virus infection pathway. So you see the it's more in, this is a similar to the GSE curve, but with different color. So it's the heat. You see the heat of the genes in certain pathway. You see the curve, and you see the genes uh, enrichment change, the the correlation. And here are the are the enrichment score, and. Uh, also the gene name. No, here here are the score, but not enrichment. Here are the the scores should be the uh, yes. Here are the enrichment score of the heat. <laughs> here is the jump job summary and the geo list summary. So you can see the uh, biologic the the. What 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 certain biological process has been run here? So we you can see that the this is all about the upregulated IDs. This is just the general statistics of the upregulated genes of the uploaded genes instead of the pathway enrichment analysis because I didn't select the analysis of gene ontology. I just selected the analysis of G of the of the of, of the GSEA on CAG pathways. So here for different pathway, you can click different one, and they can show show you different results, different GSEA, curve, GSEA curves. And also there are tables. From this table, you can download the, the, all the top enriched results, p-values, and also FDR. OK, so that's all of the uh, materials today. So today we talked about the GSEA pathway, the G G GSEA uh, website, the GSEA Java version, and how to write the file, the file format requirement and the upload and the running approach. And also we showed the, uh, this web-based gene set analysis toolkit. So with the uploaded format and the results format. Yeah. So thank you everyone. Mm -hmm.